Hey guys, let's get more news about Miami Heat, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Bam Adebayo responds to Miami Heat trolling him amid Aya Wilson dating rumors. Las Vegas Aces star Aya Wilson was named the 2024 WNBA MVP on Sunday for her impressive play in the regular season. With rumors swirling that Wilson and Miami Heat center Bam Adebayo could be dating, the Heat shared a photo of the all-star big man with an interesting caption on Sunday. Whether Adebayo and Wilson are dating or not, there's no doubt that they're two of the best at their craft in professional basketball. Wilson has the Heat center beat, though, as she's now won three league MVPs, a Rookie of the Year award, two Defensive Player of the Year awards, two WNBA titles and is the reigning WNBA Finals MVP. Adebayo has yet to win a title, MVP or Defensive Player of the Year award in his career, although the Heat star has finished in the top five in Defensive Player of the Year voting in each of the last five seasons. Wilson's 2024 regular season was extremely impressive, as she averaged 26.9 points, 11.9 rebounds, and 2.3 assists per game while shooting 51.8% from the field and 31.7% from beyond the arc. The Aces earned the league's number four seed for the postseason, and they'll open the playoffs on Sunday night against the number five seeded Seattle Storm. Wilson is looking to lead her team to a third consecutive WNBA title. Meanwhile, Adebayo and the Heat are getting set to kick off their 2024-25 regular season next month. Adebayo is coming off one of the best seasons of his career, as he averaged 19.3 points, 10.4 rebounds, 3.9 assists, and 1.1 steals per game in the 2023-24 campaign. He earned the third All-Star nod of his career for his play last season, and he was selected to his fifth All-Defensive team. Until Adebayo and Wilson confirm whether or not they are dating, the Heat may poke more fun at the star big man to feed into the intrigue around him and Wilson. Miami Heat to unveil new scoreboard, other upgrades this season. The NBA offseason is typically reserved for making changes to a team's roster, but perhaps the biggest change the Miami Heat underwent this summer is set to unveil on October 7, a new one-of-a-kind scoreboard display that is a part of several improvement projects to the Casilla Center, the team's arena since 1999. The combined cost of the projects is upwards of $50 million, according to Michael McCullough, Miami's executive vice president and chief marketing officer. Among the upgrades will be a completely new lighting and sound system, new retractable seating in the lower bowl, and the construction of new pathways connecting the home and visiting locker rooms to the court. But the centerpiece of the new upgrades, both literally and figuratively, is the scoreboard display. For new video monitors, sized 19.5 feet high and 29.5 feet wide, will surround a dynamic three-dimensional replica of the team's iconic ball and flame logo. Nicknamed Fireball, the new display will feature 2,525 square feet of LED screens, which will allow the team to show one large image or multiple images during games and other live events. We take great pride in providing our employees, guests, and community with the best sports and entertainment experience, said Eric Woolworth, president of the Heat Group's business operations. The home of the Heat will celebrate its 25th anniversary this coming New Year's Eve and during the past two and a half decades, the Arison family has continued to reinvest in Casilla Center ensuring it remains a competitive, efficient, and award-winning facility. These latest upgrades provide a huge boost to the fan experience, no matter where you're seated inside Casilla Center. The previous scoreboard had been in place since the building's inception, according to McCullough. It is on the old side, McCullough says of the Casilla Center. But our philosophy has been to continually reinvest in the building. Although we've been open since 1999, when you walk around the building, it definitely doesn't feel like it and when everyone walks in, now, their mouths will be on the ground. The fan experience is going to be so much better than the last game that we had. This is going to be at another level. Forbes Daily, 
Join over 1 million Forbes daily subscribers and get our best stories, exclusive reporting and essential analysis of the day's news in your inbox every weekday. The public unveiling of the upgraded lighting and audio systems, as well as Fireball, will be during the team's annual red, white and pink game, an exhibition game to showcase the team's 2024-25 roster and with all proceeds going towards cancer care and research at the Baptist Health Miami Cancer Institute. Miami will play its first home preseason game on October 10 when they host the Atlanta Hawks. The project took advantage of the team's early playoff ouster to shut down the arena for 96 days in order to complete all upgrades. There were no delays in the schedule, according to Jeff King, the team's vice president of operations and assistant general manager for the Casilla Center. But even as all the new upgrades make their debut in just a few weeks, the team acknowledges there will be challenges throughout the season to truly master the complex new system. On October 7, we're going to all get one look at this, and we'll see how impressive it is, explains McCullough. But you know, just like with anything else, the more reps that we get with it, the more time we spend with it, to understand and learn it, it will be much, much better. I would ask you to mark October 7th and be like, hey, that's really impressive, because that's what you're going to say. But then come time for the playoffs, you're gonna be like, ah, I see what Michael was talking about. Now that thing is really cooking. The new display, Gives us a lot of versatility and flexibility, says Ed Philomia, Senior Director of Broadcast Services. This is a theatrical system that is going to allow us to do things that we've never done before. Different configurations. We still need to see what we can do during an NBA game, but for all other events and all our other things that we have going on, we have dramatically improved the canvas. This has given us a whole another level of tools. We can have a great video, but if we don't have good sound, how great is the video? Now we're going to have great sound, our video capabilities and resolution doubled, and the impact of going from the league's smallest video board to now something that fans are going to see a dramatic difference in. The stories that we're going to be able to tell statistically, we're going to crawl before we walk or run, and hopefully we're sprinting by April. Miami Heat interested in reigniting blockbuster trade for superstar? The Miami Heat are unsure where their franchise cornerstone, Jimmy Butler, is playing next season, raising many questions around their future blueprint. He is set on signing a maximum contract extension next summer, whether it's from the Heat or elsewhere. The desire to stay put could heighten if Butler knows the front office is attempting to reel in another superstar. NBA analyst Zach Lowe of ESPN is proposing the Heat could circle back to discussions surrounding Damian Lillard, assuming the Milwaukee Bucks struggle early in the season. The move would be Dame, and I'll bet you Miami would revisit the failed Dame talks, Lowe shared. What am I getting back that makes Giannis Antetokounmpo happy? If that's my concern. Now, if he says I'm here for the long haul, you need to recoup some draft picks, you get Tyler Harrow or whatever fake Dame trade return you want to speculate about. The Heat have a variety of desirable young players, including Harrow, Jamie Jacquez Jr., and Kellel Ware. As Lowe mentioned, Antetokounmpo would need to express willingness to remain through another development phase for Milwaukee's front office to even consider giving up on Lillard. Lillard played just one season with the Bucks, meaning this year's trade deadline is a bit fast to give up on this tandem's ability to win a championship. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Damian Lillard? Leave your opinion in the comments.